What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist mining channel. So I just actually had this powered down was doing some maintenance on it, changing around some overclocks and some under volts on it to just optimize it a little bit. And I thought, eh, let's go ahead and pop on a video. We'll power this sucker up and then we'll jump into the video today talking about how to go ahead and burn the Hive OS image directly onto a solid state drive in under five minutes. So let's start this sucker up while we're at it. So we're going to go ahead and come over here and we're going to reach our hand back in here. Let's see if we can get you guys a better angle. How's that sound? Alrighty, bam. So there's our HP power supply powered on. You can see the cards came on with the LEDs there. Let's go ahead and turn on our power supply, ATX power supply. That is on. And then we're going to come over here and turn on our power button. And let's take a look. There we go. Fans are on. Look at that, looking cool. We do have a video out there on these cooling fans that we just went ahead and put in. If you guys are interested in it, I'll go ahead and put a little card in the upper corner here uh, talking about how we upgraded from 36 CFM to 86 CFM cards. Um, so these things are pumping out the air right now. So we'll go ahead and let this boot up. Uh, those of you guys that are checking out the channel for the very first time, we are currently, as of today, running five our sapphire nitro uh, rx 470 mining cards and then on the end here a little different uh this is the rx 570 uh, as well so we're running hive os as you guys can see here let's go ahead and get that booted up and uh after that's done we'll go ahead and jump into the guide today talking about uh getting hive os onto a solid state drive in just a few simple quick steps fans are powering on you can hear everything pumping in there you can hear that air starting to come through. These things are ridiculous. I'll put a link down below. These are the up here um, RGB fans. And uh, man, do they put out the air, which is phenomenal. My whole goal was to have these fans working overtime, putting out the air, and then being able to turn down the GPU fans uh, in order to kind of give them a little bit more longevity as these are so easy to come by versus the, the fans here. So. We are up and running. As you can see, you can see our 470s as well as our 1570 in there. Uh, taking a look down below, 29 mega hash. Let's go ahead and give it a second. We'll let it go ahead and post the second round because 29 is definitely way too low. So let's give it a second here. Running on Kapow. Uh, and uh, you can see our fans are coming in pretty good. 36 degrees, 41 degrees in here. There we go, second round. 80 mega hash, not too bad. 14's across the board, a little, a little shy there. We'll give that a second to see if that posts up better. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump into today's guide and video. Alrighty guys, so today we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug in, this is a, a USB SATA dock. So it supports a full size hard drive as well as a solid state drive. Um, this we're gonna go ahead and plug directly into our little USB 3 dock here that we do have available. You can see it's on and ready to go. So that is our step one in our five minute guide of going ahead and taking a solid state drive and throwing Hive OS on it. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and we'll go ahead and go through the steps on exactly what you need to do. Alrighty guys, welcome back to a mining guide. So step one, as we talked about there uh, in the previous clip, is going ahead and plugging your solid state drive into your computer. Uh, whatever computer you use for downloading, surfing the web, managing any of your HiveOS setups, um, but plugging it directly in. And you will need some type of SATA to USB adapter. I'll put a link down to the one that I currently use. It's been great to use over the last few years. So Next step, go over to hiveos.farm. That's where we are right now. And go ahead and click on install. Then once you're here, ignore everything you see and go down to under here, write GPU rigs disk image. Etcher is a recommended tool to write Hive images on the drives. It supports Windows, Mac, Linux. It can write unpacked zip archives as well. So go ahead and click on Etcher. It's going to go ahead and bring you to Etcher's website. Right in the middle here is your download link. 
we're going ahead and using Windows. So we're gonna go ahead and just select the green button, but you can select Mac OS or Linux if you're crazy enough to run any of those. Once you go ahead and hit download, it's gonna go ahead and download the program itself actually as an EXE. So go ahead and do that now and uh, then we'll go from there. Alrighty, so while that download is going on, let's go ahead and download the Hive OS operating system. So to do that, go right back to where we were at hiveos.farm. We clicked on install. We're back to this page here. Under GPU, go ahead and select the uh, zip drive here on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and select that. Once you click on that in the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see it's going to go ahead and begin the download. Allow that to finish, and then I'll see you on the other side when this is done. Alrighty, so once both of those are done, you should have two items now in your downloads folder. One is the Etcher program, one is the HiveOS image. Let's go ahead and open the Etcher program. It's very basic, very simple. This will go ahead and pop up on your main monitor. And now it's asking you for where you wanna go ahead and pull the image from. So we're gonna say flash from file, and we're gonna go ahead and right there under downloads is the HiveOS image. We're gonna hit open, it's now going to ask us for the target. We're going to select, this is our SATA drive right here, the 120 gig SATA drive. You can see it's coming in over a USB device. We're going to select that and we're going to go ahead and hit select. Now the last step is to go ahead and click flash. We're going to go ahead and click flash. This will take roughly five minutes max. Uh, this does not take a lot of time. Once this is finished, I'll go ahead and see you on the other side. Alrighty, so the flashing pro process is done. We are now ready to go. Now, what you could do is if you have multiple um, solid state drive and you're preparing for the future, you know, you want to get a bunch of drives available. So as you get rigs set up, you can just slap them in. You could go ahead and click flash another. In our situation here, we are done and ready to go. We have gone ahead and installed the Hive OS operating system. Our next step is we're going to go ahead and hit, we're going to go ahead and close out of this. We're going to pop our solid state drive out and we're going to go ahead and bring it over and plug it into our rig. So I'll see you on the camera. Alrighty guys, so we went ahead and popped out the solid state drive. This is actually our brand new solid state drive that we just finished flashing. This one here is the previous one you saw at the top of the video. Um, this is just for all the demonstration purposes. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave that one over there. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna go ahead and plug this in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plug in our SATA as well as our SATA power, um, which I have right here in the back. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So one step I think we jumped the gun on and I wanted to review with you guys was you need to create the farm. Your, your rig is called a farm uh, within Hive OS. So to do that, log into your Hive OS, go to the top corner to the plus, and then this is where you can go ahead and create your farm. So we're going to call this worker two. You can name this whatever you want. You can put tags in, things like that, time zone. We're going to leave it by default just because we're setting up a dummy farm right now. We're going to hit save. Once you're in here, it's now going to say no workers found. You want you want to add one. We're going to hit add one. Now it's going to ask us for the name. We're just going to put worker two. This is just for all intents and purposes. And we're going to do temp one, two, three, four. Uh, we're not going to put any tags in and we're just going to put worker two down here. Okay. So now we're going to hit add. Okay, perfect. So this is going to go ahead and give us some information here. Um, we're not going to use the config file for this demo, but what I want to show you is we want to go ahead and write this down. This is our rig ID and we're going to need the password. This is what's going to connect what is on that solid state drive, which is just a bare bones Hive OS install directly to your account on Hive OS. So go ahead, write down this just for right now your rig ID and your password. And we will need that on the next screen when we go ahead and boot up Hive OS. Alrighty, so we are back at it now, guys. Um, as you can see, everything is booted up. You can see it tells you, this is your first boot, no config found. 
Please add your rig in your profile on the web, which is exactly what we just did. Set the name and password for it. Then get rig ID and give it to me. So right here, it's asking for rig ID. It's not your worker ID I wanted to show you, like worker two. This is where we're gonna put in the number that it gave us. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. Oh, don't use the number pad, it goes crazy. One, four, six, seven, five, oh, eight and enter. Now it wants the password. This was that temp one we made. Okay, and enter. So now you can see here, config written. So now that it wrote this directly to the config file, we recommend to change the default password on rig exposed the internet, set rig password as system. And we're just gonna say yes. Password changed successfully. And now as you can see, look, we are set and ready to go. We don't have to touch anything on this screen. We don't need the keyboard and mouse. Now everything now moving forward and configuring your HiveOS configuration will be directly on the web interface that we were looking at earlier. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick five minute video on how to go ahead and get HiveOS installed on a solid state drive and logged into and configured and good to go. And it's simple, it's easy. HiveOS has made this entire process super easy. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.